guys, it's Friend with Craft Scissors here. So I'm gonna do my Ipsy and Birch Box unboxing videos. Finally, Ipsy got here. It took forever. Um, it's a Valentine theme, and I got it nowhere near Valentine's Day. And then the shipping date kept changing. At first, it said the 18th, then it said the 22nd, then it said the 20th, and then it arrived today. And today's the 18th. So um, still though, if you're gonna do a Valentine theme, you should probably get it here by Valentine's Day. Just saying. Okay. That's the only negative thing I'm going to say all day. Um, I went ahead and bought, I'm showing this because I bought it because I got it in a Nipsey bag. It's the Meet Matt Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Committed. I went ahead and bought the full version. I found it for, I want to say it was like mm, $17 on Amazon. But super cute packaging. As you can see. Um, it has the shade box here. I'll show you what the full size looks like. It's like a hundred times bigger than the sampler. And it has a cute couple drinking a Coke. Looks like a soda. Long lasting liquid lipstick. Meet Matt Hughes. So it's super cute and I love it and I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's long lasting. It does dry really matte. Like it's, but it's, I don't know, it's a soft matte and it has this weird minty smell that's so good. I don't even know, but okay. So I thought I'd show you that because it was something I actually bought something in the full size version that I got from Ipsy. That's the first time I've done that, I think. So um, I thought I'd share that with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Ipsy first. Birch box is a little different because I didn't do the random sample box. I got the date night box. So um, you can choose each month what you want. So you can switch it up if you want to, or if you see something in the date night box or the theme box that you like. So here's the bag for this month for Ipsy. Super cute. It kind of reminds me of like Minecraft or Nintendo. I don't know, but it's a cute little envelope. And then it's got like a plasticky pleather back to it that's like a hot pink. And then just a little circle one because sometimes they're shapes. I got one one time that had lips on it. Um, Where's the card? Oh, there it is. It's the pretty in Ipsy hashtag Ipsy pink is the theme card and of course they don't list the stuff that's in it and the prices and stuff like that um, but usually I try to look that up for you guys and put it in the description box below so I'll do that again so the first thing I see is pink gel coat instantly strengthens brightens and protects perfect formula so I guess it's a nail polish or a top coat let's open it and see it's by the brand perfect formula essentials for perfect nails I'm a big nail person. Oh, okay. So it's a gel coat. It's like a top coat. Apply directly to natural nail. You can recoat over dry pink gel coat anytime. Remove once weekly with any nail polish remover. Flammable. It has like a pink tint to it, so I don't know if it'll give you a pink tint to your um your fingers. I wonder how it smells. Yeah, it's just kind of clear pink. You guys can see the drip. Okay. Uh, it smells like nail polish. Not anything special there. But I'll let you guys know how if it, it feels if it's like a really thick. I wonder if it's just like a really thick top coat. Okay, but it says it kind of gives your natural shell, natural shine. I like the protection part because some of the time I, sometimes a lot of the time, I paint my nails just to make them stronger. Okay, next. Ooh, I was hoping I would get this. I saw this in some other unboxings. I have to unpackage it. It says Vintage by Jessica Libskind. Probably butchering that name. But if they had a little pronunciation card, that'd be good. Hmm? Okay. That was not as hard as the... Do you remember the... I won? Okay, so... The only thing it says on the bottom is the shade is Pink Sequin. Sparkling Lip Gloss. Okay, so it's a lip gloss. Lip gloss. Oh, did I even show it to you guys yet? That's the packaging. This is white. If you can't tell. I'm not sure how my camera picks up. Uh, so it's like a paint brush. It's not a spongy brush. It's like a paint brush. So let me swatch it. Very light pink, I think. 
Nice shine. I would wear that. It's not a full on color, but nice amount of glitter. If you're looking for that little shimmer. That's good. Of course, I'm going to touch it and make everything sticky. <laughs> okay. So I like the first two things I got. That's making me happy because I wasn't a minute ago. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. This is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Uh, mineral blush in the color Desert Rose. That's cool. From London? Yeah. Okay, let's open this up. And try not to make a mess because we are in my craft room okay good it does have one of those like filter thingies because I've seen unboxings before where like it doesn't have you know what I'm talking about like the little you know like a salt shaker has like little ho tiny holes it's not just open sorry they've got that plastic seal in there which is a good thing Okay, so I usually just tap it into the cap. I don't know how you guys do it, but that's what I do. Let's see if I can get some in there. Give you guys kind of a swatch. That's annoying. Doesn't let very much out. I wonder if a little goes a long way. Okay, I'm just going to pick up some on my finger. Try to swatch it. Okay, this is very light. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Can you see it? I put it right here. I don't know. It's very, it blended in. So it's not a very standout blush. It's very like, very vintage rose. I think that's the perfect name for it. So let's see how much I use it. I'm really into contouring right now. And I haven't really looked into like combining blush and contour. Um, but I think it's really pretty. So that's what the side looks like. You guys can see the color because it's like together. But I like the packaging, the shiny words. That's good. Okay, so I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, and this is we're on item number four. This is the Smashbox New Photo Finish Primer Oil. I don't use primer oil. I haven't yet. Our Studio Secret Radiant Perfectly primed skin on camera and off. Creates an ideal canvas for makeup. Reduces the appearance of dry, fine lines. Increase moisture in just four weeks. Use morning and night. Let it absorb into the skin before applying the makeup. And then it's translated into a foreign language. Smashbox. Okay. Oh, that's weird. There's a barcode on it. So that's the little packaging they gave us. And it looks just like it on the inside. The size they gave us is not on here. It doesn't say how many ounces or anything. Photo finish primer oil. It smell it because that's what I do. Ooh, it smells woodsy. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna use that on my face because if it smells woodsy, there's a chance that it contains um, eucalyptus. Trying to scan real quick if it does. Because if this has eucalyptus, I'm allergic and I can't use it. So, eucalyptus is like a tree plant flower. They put it in like all this craft stuff and makeup. Anything that's like a de stressor has eucalyptus in it. Super annoying. Okay. Um, oh, it's like a clear thing. <laughs> I was like, um, they missed something. So it comes in the clear packaging. I think it's a nail file. It says, Margaret dabs London and nothing else so <laughs> just they assume I know what I'm doing okay that is a very fine nail file it's like not rough at all you guys hear it <laughs> okay I like the packaging though I like that it comes with its own case because um, if you put a good nail file like a rough one inside your purse it will rub other things like your wallet and makeup bag and stuff and it'll cause rub spots on that so you gotta watch that just saying okay so I like the nail file um okay I'm liking the lip gloss I'll definitely try out the top coat thing not crazy about the oil thing not even sure I'm gonna use it um and then the ro vintage rose thing this is a nice size I'm guessing this is full size so and then this is probably 
this may be full size I'm not sure it doesn't even I would say um, labeling on these two products very poor because it doesn't say ounces it doesn't say oh there it is 0.14 ounces and usually an average lip gloss is what 0.25 so this is probably a sampler size um, and then this doesn't say anything else on it. it doesn't even say that it's a nail file or anything so packaging wise these ones are kind of lame but I like these two so four four things I like the bag it's very bumpy okay so put that to the side bird box okay so that's what my box looks like because it's the date night box now I almost got the other sampler box because it looked so cute because it was pink and it had gold arrows all over it but I really liked what was in this box I liked knowing what I was getting I thought I would just try it okay so it says date night date nights are splendid a splendid thing a meet cute with someone new colorful cocktails with your favorite friends a hot air balloon ride over Napa with your husband oh I grew up near Napa hey girl a girl can dream but no matter your plans we want to help you look and feel like your most confident vibrant and glowing self our editors have put stuff for go knock em dead blah blah okay um, and then there's um, product description so I'll have that out um, purchase gift with purchase choose between blah da da sometimes they give you like codes and advertisements okay I'm gonna see first glance I didn't do that on the first on the ipsy there's first glances okay so the first thing I see is a fragrance and I can already smell it so I'm wondering if it leaked I don't know it doesn't look wet it's just very strong okay this is CM Romance de Provence by Catherine Maladrino this is 0 0.06 fluid ounces navy blue packaging and then on the inside the bottle matches the packaging which is cute it's not boring and it's well labeled you guys can see and it's not a squirt one it's one of those where you take it out and then it has like a little dab stick okay um hmm I'm not sure if I like this it's really strong florally a little bit of floral they have another kind of description do not spray into the eyes well it's not a spray um I wish I wish they had more of a fragrance like description because I'm not quite good at doing that I don't know if this is something I would wear. It kind of reminds me of like a stronger uh, curve, like a stronger curve, like, I don't know, more po potent. I don't know. Okay. This is Wish Renewing Mud Mask, which that Wish lotion they gave me, hated it, threw it away. The smell made me have a headache. So we'll see how this goes. It's a mud mask, renewing. Introducing our renewing mud mask, just a thin layer two minutes and a circular rub provides a gentle resurface exfoliation exfoliation to reveal smoother softer more youngful looking skin oh hello there gorgeous we've missed you our formula renews purifies smooths and softens paraben free that's good okay we'll see let's smell it because that's what I do does anyone else smell stuff on their videos okay you can see a little bit of the scrub in the lid. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's got a little bit of texture in it. It looks like it, but it's not. Hmm. It doesn't say just a thin layer, two minutes, and a circular rub provides a gentle surfacing. So I guess you don't leave it on, you just scrub it for two minutes. I just scrubbed my face for two minutes. That's a long time. I'll have to look up that instructions because it seems more like you would leave it on for two minutes. I don't know. But it's an exfoliant, whatever. Alright, another one is a bottle. It's a spray bottle. I like the packaging. Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. Sea Buckthorn Berry. I guess that's the scent. Protects, texturizes, volumizes, repairs for all hair types. That's cool. Use before blow dry to get an extra texture and lift while providing a weightless layer of heat protection. Safe for color treated hair. 
spray onto damp hair sections by sections, roots to ends before blow drying can also be used on dry hair for a light hold or restyling. Avoid contact with eyes. Okay. It's made in the USA. Let's smell it. I usually like these, actually. The blowout sprays and stuff. I like to, um, when I don't, when I don't want to, like, do my hair but I want it down, it's kind of a wavy, which is why it's up in a bun right now. Um, it's kind of a wavy curl, and this gives it more curl. I can't smell it. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. It smells like a perfume almost. I like it. I'm going to have fun with that one. Alright, the next thing I see is a weird little tubey thing. Oh, I haven't been giving the prices on this. I guess I'll do that at the end. Okay. Um, this is Liptar Matte Test Tube Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Okay, the last time I had a vegan lipstick. Ooh, mine's open. Um... Last time I had a vegan lipstick, it smelled really weird. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, but it's obviously very red. It doesn't say what the color is, does it? Obsessive Compulsive is the makeup brand. Strumpet. Strumpet. The color is Strumpet. <laughs> that is a weird name, I'm sorry. Okay, there's some on the cap here, so I'll just grab that. This is a weird way to do a sample. Like, let's go down my lips. I don't know. You guys are probably laughing at me. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Dabbing some on my pinky from the cap. This is more of a pink than a red. It's a strumpet color. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure how well lip stains. Is it a lip stain? No. It's a lip tar matte. So I guess it's just like a matte lipstick. Now, I will say this on Birchbox. The picture of the sample is usually the picture of the full size when they do like the sneak peeks, and it did not look like this. So I was surprised by what this is. <laughs> hmm, interesting. But I get it. Like, it's a tester, so test tube. Like, that's a cutesy, that's a cutesy way to do it. Yeah. Okay, swatches all over my hand. All right, the last item. This has the cutest packaging. It is black with gold polka dots on it. That's just pretty. Cynthia Rowley. Guessing it's fragrance. Brightening, no, brightening illuminator. Um, 0.04 ounces. Available exclusively at Birchbox. That's cool. I like it when I get exclusive stuff. It makes me feel special. Isn't that special? Can you name a movie that's from? Okay. Glow Getter. Quick and easy highlighter tips. Ooh, that's nice. See, this is what I'm saying. Give me some instructions. Okay. Squeeze out a small amount. Dab on, dab with ring finger. That's because that's your most gentlest finger. Um, hmm. Following the illustration below until blended evenly, apply for more illumination. One, add instant brightness and dimension to your forehead. Two, fake a lifted brow and a wide awakeness. Oh, by putting it right here. That's interesting. Make your cheekbones pop, like you put it on top, which is where I usually just put it. Um, create an illusion of a straighter nose, so straight down the middle of your nose. I don't have a crooked nose. I have a very round nose. <laughs> Get fuller looking lips by putting it in the cupid's bow and on your chin. Accentuate your natural face shape. Number six. Oh, that's right here. This is six. This is fuller looking lips. You put it on your Cupid's bow. Which I didn't even know that's what it was called. But someone said that in their video. And I thought that was the cutest thing. So I don't know if they just made that up. But it makes sense. Because it's got the... I'm trying to get the thing out of... <laughs> and we're ripping the cute packaging. Because, yeah. Tiny, tiny bottle. But cute, cute, cute. And to be honest, you don't use a ton of this. Let's so watch it. And smell it. You know, I've never seen really anybody else smell as much as I do on my channel. <laughs> okay. Not an annoying smell. Kind of florally. 
Should I put this on the blush? I don't know. Put it over here. Oh, it's pink! That's pink. Interesting. You guys will see it in a second. I'm using my ring finger. I'm just kind of dabbing it out. It's pink and shiny. You guys can see the shine. So that's a cute highlighter. You can kind of see the pink on the bottom, maybe? Yeah. It's like a very light pink. It goes on really smoothly, not cakey, really creamy. Look, I'm learning how to describe things. Okay. So I think that I will definitely try this out. I've been using the, um, it kind of looked like this bottle. Maybe it's by the same company. And it's like a super shiny copier. Copy, copier. <laughs> Coppery. <laughs> Uh, coppery color, um, which I like. It's like a shimmery copper. So I've been using that, and also the Light It Up Twist Up. I think it's by The Balm, and it looks like a lipstick, which is awesome because you can just go rub. Love it. Okay, so let's decide on Birchbox. So I know I'm going to use the blowout spray because that's a no-brainer. I know I'm going to try this out because I like it, and it's pink. Um, this, I'm not sure. I have to look to see if it has, oh sorry, if it has eucalyptus and more information on it. So, hmm. And then this one, I'll try it out, but it seems kind of strong. So I'll put it in the yes pile. And then this, um, probably not. It's so hot pinkish. I thought it was going to be more red. That's what it kind of looked like in the video that I saw that made me want this. Um, this is actually the reason I wanted it, and now I'm like, mm -hmm. So, as far as the lip goes, I think Ipsy wins on lip because of the lip gloss. Let's look at this. Yeah, and then, obviously I didn't get a fragrance, but I don't like the oil primer. Okay, so I decided I liked four things from Ipsy, and really just three things from Birchbox. Yeah. Because I'll probably try these out. I probably won't even use this. It's just such a hot pink. That's not my color. I'll probably gift it to someone. Um, and then this I'll try out, but I might be allergic. I'm not sure. This might be too strong for me, but I know I'll use these two. So for sure two out of five, which is not very good. But okay, let's talk pricing because I forgot to do that. So the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar, this thingy, in a full size is worth $15. Just a drop of this um, cult favorite cruelty free liquid lipstick is all you need for a fantastic opaque coverage. Opaque? That's an opaque coverage? Okay. And then the Cynthia Rowley. Oh, Cynthia Rowley. Cynthia. Oop. Oh, this, the illuminator. The full size of this, this is not a full size, is $28. This velvety highlighter, yeah, velvety, um, works for all skin tones, delivering a subtle sheen that lights up your features. Okay, then the Wish Mask Renewing Mud Mask, full size, is $44. Yeah, I kind of like it when they include facial scrubs and stuff, because a lot of it's around 44 or 68 was one of them. The pumpkin one was like 68, and I love that one. Um, this mask renews and exfoliates skin, just rub in a circular motion, leave for two minutes, and then rinse. Okay, more instructions. Okay. So leave it on for two minutes and then rinse. I will definitely be trying this out, but I think I just did a mug mask. But I definitely need to do another one because I'm starting to break out. Um, not from that mud mask, just in general. Then the Amika, this one, bombshell blowout spray, full size is $24. This is obviously a sample. A lightweight styler that volumizes, smooths, and protects for a sleek yet bouncy do. Then you have the fragrance... Romance de Provence, full size is $65 to $110. Okay, an ode to Provence, this timeless scent features, there we go, fruity and floral nuances with vanilla and patchouli. Yeah, the vanilla, that's what was throwing me off. I'm like, what does that ever smell? It's like fruity and flowery and vanilla. There we go. I don't smell too much patchouli. That might be the part I don't like. Is patchouli kind of a hippie smell? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's what makes, patchouli makes me think of hippies. 
I don't know if that's right, but we'll see. So I definitely like two of the items and it was the blowout and the illuminator. So the blowout is 24, the illuminator is 28. So I actually liked kind of the lower end items. Huh, interesting. I I'm cheap. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Give it a like and please subscribe. Um, comment if you got the same things I did, if you tried out the date box or if you got a completely different box, um, what you got in your Ipsy. I love comparing that stuff. Um, let me know how many items you've been liking. That's kind of my thing about judging it. It's like how many items am I actually going to use and like in each box. Um, so whoever wins, basically I think Ipsy won again. Um, to be honest, I think Ipsy wins the majority of the time. Uh, but I do have a year subscription of Birchbox. So... Um, once that year is up, then I'll probably decide whether I want to try out something new or keep going with Birchbox. Because now I know there's a ton out there. There's a Sephora one. I've, I've heard there's a Target one, a Walmart one. Um, there's, I don't know, there's a ton out there. BoxyCharm, but that one's a little bit more expensive. Um, but you get more full-size products. So, because I watch Kathleen Lights on that one. Alright, thanks for watching. Give it a like and please subscribe.